Smart habits begin at home by example, encouragement, incentive, and creativity. Take notes as we explore this extremely important look at family finances. Shopping is a national pastime, even when vacationing. But in a tightening economy, shopping for name brands may seem like something of the past. A Saturday spent in the local shopping mall can have a shock effect once the receipts are added up. With Americans tightening their belts and conserving on everything from natural resources to personal luxuries, there has never been a better time to rethink the way we shop. We've been in the consignment business for 25 years, and we've built a model for smart and responsible shopping by combining the convenience of a department store shopping with a focus towards green consumerism. Our store sells everything you would find in a big box department store, sporting goods, toys, fashion, furniture, appliances, and music, pretty much anything you're looking for. We are making it easy for people to save while incorporating reuse and recycling in all aspects of their lives. The stores average about 30,000 square feet, 10 times that of a typical consignment store. Every square inch of the store is stocked with an ever-changing inventory. They are a full department store in every sense of the word. Going green is not just a growing industry, it's a lifestyle. Professionals, students, and workers at both ends of the spectrum are interested in saving the planet and saving money in this ever-changing economy. Recycling has new momentum, both in the private sector and in government. And any business based on these principles is booming. Franchising has long been a viable means to being your own boss. Researching the demographics, financing and locations for your business, designing systems and procedures, hiring staff, acquiring inventory, all of these costly and time-consuming details are necessary steps to opening a new business. Having a team of seasoned pros to manage these steps for you is reason enough for most entrepreneurs to consider a franchise. Consigners bring in items that they no longer use. Shoppers purchase these items at very reduced prices. For a franchise owner in consignment, inventory costs are eliminated. As a consigner, it is like getting paid to recycle. Consigning items is very easy and rewarding. Consigners can make an appointment to bring their items to us or for us to come to them. Our system is very sophisticated in tracking the sales. Each item is itemized, inventoried, and barcoded. Consigner can get paid weekly for their items sold, or they can use their money to purchase items in our store, or they can wait for a later date and pick up one large sum. Much of our inventory is sold within a couple of weeks, but items still available at 60 days are discounted for a quick sale. Our software system does most of the work for the franchise owner so that they can concentrate on the bigger business operations. The savings that a shopper might get on a luxury or designer item, such as a brand name handbag, can often save them enough money to pay for some of the costly necessities in life. Our customers appreciate that they can find the stuff that people are finding at the malls and at the other furniture stores for a fraction of the price, so they can look great and save money. Society is becoming greener and more people are focusing their priorities towards saving money and saving the planet by reusing what's still valuable and recycling what they no longer need. Owning a business that's both profitable and responsible just makes sense for our future. We see a bright future for Stuff Etc. franchise owners. We have raised the bar for starting and owning your own business. Our proprietary software and systems are state of the art. And the support we offer is on par with any franchise company nationwide. After 25 years specializing in franchise sales, I've never seen a business model like Stuff Etc. that so fully employs the motto of reuse, renew, and recycle. I'm proud to be part of this growing network of forward-thinking business entrepreneurs.